Let's talk about fat, eating more fat in general. I'm Angela of Grass-Fed Mama. If you love talking about keto, low carb, and healthy mama life, you are in the right place. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss an update. If you're thinking about starting the keto diet, if you're new to the keto diet, or you just wanna hone in and get the best results, then we're gonna be talking about how to add in more fat to help you get into ketosis and get the real benefits of keto. If you're new to keto or you're thinking about keto and you see that the majority of your calories every single day should be coming from fat, sometimes people get scared by that because in our society, people have gotten scared to eat fat because they think that fat makes them fat, but that's honestly not true. And fat is honestly needed by so many parts of our body to function properly. And our brain is the number one thing um, that is boosted by eating fat and by being in ketosis and running on the ketones whenever you are um, eating more fat and fueling your body that way. There's so many brain boosting benefits, which I love learning about that. Um, but in our society, people have been trained to fear eating fat because they think that if they're gonna eat fat, they're gonna get fat and that's just not how it works. Um, so that's exciting, especially if you are just ready to embark on keto, you can push those fears aside, you can embrace eating fat, you can embrace the butter, embrace the avocado, um, and that's really what makes our food taste so good anyway. That's one of the best things about keto is that people don't feel deprived like they may on other diets because they're fueling their body with food that actually helps them feel satisfied and full and fat and protein are a really big part of that. Sometimes if you just eat protein um, and you're missing that fat component, which I have eaten that way before, then you do burn through that and you don't feel um, as full as long. Um, but if I pair protein and fat and veggies with the fiber, then I stay full so long and I'm able to fast longer. And I've talked about that recently, how I've been doing more intermittent fasting and um, fasted walking and just can feel that I'm getting even deeper in keto into ketosis. I feel like, cause I just feel like um, I'm not full, or I'm not full, I'm not hungry and I'm not dealing with cravings. Um, and, I, and I love feeling that way. So let's talk about fat. So 65 to 70% of your calories should come from fat. And that doesn't mean because fat is weighted more, it has more calories per ounce though, than protein or um, carbs. And so whenever people see that, they think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be eating a stick of butter all day. And that's not really how it looks. Um, so a lot of times, if you really track it, you realize, oh wow, if I just add a little bit of fat throughout my day, it adds up and that's exciting. Um, and so what I typically am doing is I'm doing like a fat fast um, so it's a modified version of intermittent fasting, but that basically means it's during my fasted window, um, I'm only focusing on fat. And I'm not overeating on fat, it's just that the only calories are coming from fat. And so it's kind of like a modified way to do intermittent fasting. Um, but a lot of people are like, well, what do you eat or drink during that fasted window. Um, but this information can go throughout your whole day of just filling up on fat and really getting the benefits and helping you get into ketosis as well. Um, because if your calories are coming from fat, then that helps your body get into ketosis, which is the ultimate benefit of keto is that you want those benefits that putting your body in a state of ketosis can bring. Um, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about adding healthy fat throughout your day and what that actually might look like. Um, so a lot of times you've probably heard of keto coffee. Um, I, I love keto coffee, um, but that's something that I can't drink throughout the day because it has um, caffeine in it. And if I drink too much caffeine, I get jittery and shaky and everything. And it just sets me off on the wrong path. Um, it can boost my uh, anxiety and cortisol probably. Um, so that definitely has its place and I definitely do drink coffee every day, but I'm not gonna drink keto coffee throughout the day. So what's another thing that we can do? Well, we can learn about what the ingredients that you put in keto coffee and you can 
put them in other drinks. So like right now I'm drinking a matcha latte, which has less caffeine in it. So I can drink it. It's, you know, almost 1.30. I can drink it in the afternoon and it's not going to uh, give me this huge boost of caffeine and give me the shakes and all the other things that drinking a coffee right now might. Um, so putting it in drinks and teas, a chai latte, and have um, MCT oils and grass-fed butter in that and make it like um, a keto coffee, but without the caffeine. And so there are different ways that we can add them to our drinks and add them to our coffees and teas and matcha lattes and things like that. So that's one way that I definitely uh, can add in healthy fat. And like I said, it adds up. And if you're drinking two or three of these a day, depending on how much fat you put in your drink, um, you know, that can help you definitely get over the hump because I know one of my friends reached out and she was tracking her macros and she was realizing that she was falling short on her fat percentages every single day. And so this is just one way that you can make sure that you're boosting that fat intake. Um, and like I said, and it can help you kind of do a modified intermittent fast. If you, if you sip on those during your fasting window, it can kind of extend the benefits of this modified intermittent fast. So that's what I do. Um, now at your meals, how can you add in healthy fats at your meals? And it really depends on what you're eating. You know, we eat a lot of, uh, I make chicken fajitas in my air fryer at least once a week. Um, and I'll eat a half of an avocado every single time that we fix that. So adding things like avocados um, or a sauce, you know, we I was making um, chicken Alfredo with a homemade Alfredo sauce um, very frequently because my kids love it too. Um, and that's a really easy way to add in uh, fat to your meal and I, you can even use it like I, I made zucchini fries and I used it as a dip So that's something that you could make ahead and have like different dips and sauces and things like that a little bit of pushback that I get with that is if you are mindful of your dairy, which I'm mindful, but I definitely eat a lot of dairy because like I'm, I added heavy whipping cream and different things. And so if you are doing keto, but you're doing it dairy free or low on dairy, then you're gonna skip some of the cheeses and the heavy whipping cream and the butter and things like that but you just switch that for other sources of healthy fat. So coconut oil, um, one that I just got was a pecan oil, avocado oil, and you can cook with these so that it's in your meal. It's just not a separate thing, you know, a sauce, something that you put on top of your meat, um, and also the types of meat that you eat can also have more fat in them too. Instead of eating lean, cuts of meat. You can choose for cuts of meat that have more fat in them. Um, so that's something too, is that it doesn't always have to be adding. It's almost like you're fat conscious so that it's like, okay, you know, and sometimes it's listening to your own body. Um, salad dressings are another thing that are easy to have a salad at your meal and the dressing usually is a great way to have healthy fats added to your meal. And so thinking about different ways that you can add in healthy fats, but then also being fat aware, fat conscious. And so if you eat something and it doesn't keep you full, you can think back and I was like, what did I eat? Did it have enough protein? Did it have enough fat? Did I have enough fiber? You know, what was it that was missing? And really hone in to how you feel.